Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! So that fireweed deck that I had there, that wasn't actually my intended way to name it, as I had the idea of reusing the fire joke again because, well, well, it just seemed kind of fun to do, but <laughs> the actual idea I had for an all-grass deck is Snoop Dogg. <laughs> so I also made a couple of changes to it. It's not all grass. I, I mean, yeah, you know, I always have a couple of colorless as a little bit of extra insurance, I guess you could say. In this case, I got the Rattata and Raticate, and yeah, I changed those from the Spiral Furo. I also got Chansey and Hungry Snorlax. Um, I also reduced the Bulbasaur and Ivysaur count by one to better balance it with the Venusaur. And in favor, I got the, uh... Uh, energy removal that I got from other packs in there, and yeah, it's just, just a little bit of a refining, basically. And as for the Swift deck, no change. <laughs> Stop it deck. Yeah, well, pretty much the same as. <laughs> I'm not putting in the Dragonite because it just doesn't. It's not quite as fitting to my strategy as the Dragonair is, so I don't really see a point of me evolving it for just 10 more HP for coin flips when I could just keep sucking away energy cards. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's try out our Snoop Dogg deck, but first, give it up, well, Executive Allison will waste you. Whoa! Whoa. Calm yourself there. Don't don't be so sure. Oh, even if you did beat Clay, you must still defeat me as well. I use one of three special rules against my challengers. No. You need time to prepare or it's just time Oh, that's the same dialogue as yesterday, huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Will it be able to handle any challenger with ease, though? That is the question. Can you handle the weed? Maybe you can. We shall see. <laughs> uh, for this battle, we'll use a tough escape rule. All Pokémon must pay one additional energy card to retreat. Let's get started with our six prize card duel. The Poison Mist deck is a go go. So one extra energy card to retreat to the bench. That's not that big of a deal overall, since you know you're, you're the idea is to play efficiently with your switch-ins and whatnot anyway. And that is a really iffy opening hand. <laughs> uh, I swear I always seem to get those. Oh, and that Grimer might be an issue. Uh huh. That's why it might be an issue. I kind of have uh, only one turn to get something because of that. Okay, I got a Venonat. That will do. Bill might also get me something else. I wonder if I should even bother with the uh, Rattata and just go straight for the... Hmm... I probably should nick off 20. Probably, so let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for that. I mean, it's still... She's gonna, regardless, knock out the Rattata, and it's still one more turn anyway, so... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's alright! And Venomoth is a go-go. Hmm, why hello there, Venomoth! Uh... Well, if I can prevent it from attacking, I can prevent poison, very nice. Maybe... Maybe I'll have a nice lucky day, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I should just go straight over to... Uh, I was gonna say go straight over to evolving into Met Venomoth. Ooh! Oh wait, what? I thought you were gonna do that to Grimer just so that you could poison my Venonat. Interesting. Because that seems like a waste of full heal. <laughs> um... Because yeah, the, the Venomoth I have... Two energy? So I'm just gonna stun for since I have the other Venonat anyway. Just kind of see how things roll with that. And one prize card, Scyther is a go-go! Oh man! <laughs> that energy removal! That energy removal. Okay, so she might be planning a onslaught of Swords Dance combo with double colorless, perhaps. So, I definitely should go for the Stun Spore. Which fails me, no! That's okay, though. <laughs> we should be just fine, as is. Okay, so... Oh, wait, 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 wait. You don't have more energy? Good! Good! <laughs> so yeah, now we're gonna, now we're gonna go to Venomoth. And I should also probably set that up, just because it has more HP. And Tornado Gust. So, what we're gonna do here... 
we're gonna switch. Basically, yeah, we, we, we got we got the powers of the switcheroos with the tornado gust, so that's gonna kind of kind of put her in the position of uh, <laughs> uh, you know potentially not being able to double colorless that scyther with ease. So I figured that would be a, a nicer way to go about doing things in that particular situation, but I don't know if she has any such thing in this particular deck. Yeah, she's, see, she's got multiple decks. It's kind of hard to memorize it all. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should get the Rainbow Powder going. Probably. So I'll just kind of let Venonat take its course, and then uh, we'll be able to do some sort of status effect over to coughing on the next turn. And yeah, it's, it's fine with me. And thus the Venonat gets KO'd, but I have a fresh Venomoth waiting in the wings. Oh, wrap that up. Hmm. That could be handy, but Rainbow Powder, come on heads. Oh, I was gonna say come on heads because of paralysis, and I was, I was hoping for heads, then tails, because then that would have been a uh, outright knockout, but she might end up deciding to switch because of the inevitable knockout of the coughing. Or not, we'll see. Uh Okay, so she put in a muck for the Grimer, probably because she could, didn't really have a... Okay, <laughs> so she did do a switch, and Swords Dance, yeah. Okay, so she might be setting up the powers of the power. So you should probably go get another Ace going here, preferably the Ivysaur. And I, I figured because I need energy for either or, so, as long as I keep drawing energy, I'll be able to choose who comes out, basically. <laughs> oh, Defender, sneaky sneaky. And yeah, with Paralysis, she can't really make a move, but that's okay. I got Defender myself. Should I attach that to Venomoth in case of double colorless? Ah, I don't think so. Oh, that's Paralysis, very nice. I was like, eh, if I get Poison, she'll probably switch out anyway, so... It's like, eh, it's just kind of AI prediction. Wow, another one. <laughs> All right, you do that. I will do this. Um, ooh, gust of wind. That's tempting to kind of eliminate the defender here. <laughs> and that coughing, you know, with its status effects, might be wiser to kind of wipe it out. And yes, you can poison a poison Pokemon in the trading card game. <laughs> it's not like the regular series games. Alright, so Grimer... Ooh, oh! So she's even increasing the retreat cost even further with the Dark Mock. But we'll see if that has any sort of impact overall. That's a unique animation to this game. And... Well... Looks like time is running out for the Venomoth, so I best to get the... What? Wait, wait, hold on a sec. Defender. So I was gonna say, I, should, I best get something set up there, but... Um... What I'm thinking about doing is Pokémon Tratering into Venusaur. And then, uh... Like on... Well, actually, you know what, I could do that this... I was thinking I should do it on the next turn. Because I don't think she'll be able to knock out... Well... Hmm. Hmm. No, I I will go. No. Hmm. No, I, sh I probably should see because I was thinking maybe I won't have the Venusaur in my deck. Oh, I do. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go there, and uh, the retreat cost is unfortunately three though. So uh, yeah, that's kind of. But it's the thing about that. I know I kind of want to use it at the last minute more than anything. <laughs> Uh, although, you know what I could do? Uh, if I use Energy Transfer, just for one of them, I'll probably get another Grass in the future. And then I could Tornado Gust instead. So she's switching to Mr. Mime, I'll switch over to Raticate then. So yeah, just like, I, I felt like I wasted that Defender, but I just kept getting more and more ideas, you know? <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, Scyther. And... Retreat cost is one, right? Until two, that's right. Eh, well. Alright. <laughs> I will accept that. 
but it's fine. Ooh, Professor Oak. <laughs> uh, now that's making me wonder if I should uh, gust of wind. Oh, that's right. The uh, rad radicates. Wait, no, 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 no. That's. I was just thinking about Dark Mock Sticky. Oh, yeah, that's when it's the active Pokemon. That's right. So that's why the it required three with the Venomoth. Okay, yeah, yeah I forgot. Forgot about that for a second. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna Professor Oak then. And instead of the Gust of Wind, we're gonna see what energy cards we can get. Double colorless. Probably should save that for the Scyther. Maybe not. <laughs> this is if I can. I definitely want to do some damage with the. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait a second. If I use energy transfer, oops. If I move one energy to Venusaur, uh huh. I plop. Wait, no, no, no. I'll, I'll use a switch instead of the double colorless. That's way I can save that. And I'll just solar beam. All right. So many options. So much confusion on what's the most efficient way to beat her, basically. <laughs> That's okay. Gust of Wind, what you got? Venomoth, probably the best move, because I have uh, lots and lots of uh, status effects with the Venomoth, but at the same time, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I could quickly knock out the Dark Muck when I plop in uh, Venusaur, and Dark Muck is kind of like her ace right now. Ooh, oh, 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 um, yeah, that's, that's going on the Venusaur this time. Scyther. Solar Beam, finish off Dark Muck. That would have done. I mean, that would have knocked it out anyway. Like even if it was at full health. So eh, maybe that Tornado Gust was not necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see what she gets. Well, well, this is kind of rare. I see a Bill's teleporter work. I swear. Uh, offing. Swords Dance. And the Grass Energy... I guess for my Scyther. I mean, it's, she's not attacking anyway, but Solar Beam. <laughs> I was expecting her to like, do at least do something uh, with the Scyther. Maybe if she's using it as a stall to get something else going. But I think she might have realized with my Venus, or she's kind of in a corner. It's like, eh, I can only do my best at this point. Wow, she got another one off. <laughs> and... Confusion, maybe she's gonna go for or something? Wait, what? Oh, oh, no. I thought that, that coughing can cause. Or am I thinking of the f fossil version of coughing? Let's just check this really quick. No, it has confusion gas, yeah. So, she instead attacked. I would have gone for the confusion because otherwise, if I didn't. I mean, if she didn't confuse my Venusaur, that's. That's kind of game over there. I mean, it's. I mean, it is game over now, but... <laughs> Alright. She is defeated! You've done well, Mint. I got an ambition boost pack. Duck bat is sneak attacking. <laughs> um, but, well... But well, it's not 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 that, that useful really. Just yeah, when you when you play it, you can do 10 damage, apply weakness and resistance. So I could do 20. <laughs> uh, but the flitter does not. It's also up just 50 HP. It's kind of kind of iffy of a gold bath as a result of that very low HP. It's more of like a bench attacker when you put it into play and then surprise finish off. And fly to booster pack. Uh, ooh, the other version of Magneton. You don't apply weakness and resistance for Sonic Boom, just like a regular Sonic Boom in the main series games. And I think I actually mentioned that for some other Pokemon, or maybe it was this one. In any case, it stays true to the games and self-destructs for a whopping 100, but you need 4 lightning, and does 20 damage on each player's bench, 80 HP, and 100 to itself, so you need 2 defenders to save it from itself, so it's more like a finishing move more than anything. Um, yeah. I'm so surprised that you've won against both Clay and me. You have some very unique and cunning tactics indeed. Safety 
<laughs> since you've defeated us both, it's time for you to meet Villasini. Please follow. <laughs> and here we are! The final room of GR Castle. King Villasini, your executive Clay, has been defeated. King Villasini, your executive Allison, has been defeated. Oh, this so you managed to beat best both Clay and Allison, I see. The time has come for you and I to have our decisive card battle. Clay, Allison, be gone! When you lose miserably to Villasini, you'll come to understand his power. Now find out the hard way that Team GR is in the rights. Will we? I don't, I don't, it doesn't sound like it. I mean, there's kidnapping, stealing cars. <laughs> I'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I'll be pleasantly surprised. I don't know why I said surprised. If you get to defeat Villasini. Oh, we shall see. Well, now, Mint. Pokemon cards are to be used solely to fight and win. It is under this philosophy that I have found a Team GR. What's the point in collecting cards if they are not useful in battle? They must be used, I say. I have rescued the cards from those pathetic hoarders on your island. I have invented new ways to battle, putting those wasted cards to use. This is the ultimate form of devotion towards Pokemon cards. They are not meant to be stashed away like your, our foes do with them. Only one with the utmost respect for cards can be the master of them. I will never be defeated by a simpleton who merely collects them. But the time has come. Have a seat. I shall destroy you in a fiery duel. Will you? Will you? I will be switching between my four decks during our card battles. Of course, you will have the chance to do the same with your decks too. Let us begin our decisive battle. The first player to, to gain two total wins will be declared the victor. That should be gain, not gains. Anyway, no, that is fine. I will patiently wait. Do what you feel you need to do with your cards and prepare yourself. No matter, it is impossible to match the strength of my cards. Even so, I will gladly entertain a card battle with you. Make your preparations and return when you are ready. Okay. So, I'm not ready because... She has multiple decks of her own. Ah! I'm gonna select a different deck just for kicks, and just like Aaron, I'm gonna save before re-talking to her to see if she's got, you know, she's gonna use something else now. I understand now. Under no circumstances should anyone's cards be stolen. Thank you! Thank you! Now, if only you could learn not to kidnap. The important thing is to have fun while playing with your cards. My sense of fun comes from the three special rules I use. The first rule is tough escape. No, Pokemon. Yes, yes. Black hole. I'll play that with the game. Lowers this. Yes, it's all the same dialogue, basically. All right. Let's see. 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 Oh man, the poison mist deck again! Well, look who's resetting the game, boy! <laughs> there we go! Alright, let's see what we get here this time. So much dialogue! Yes! <laughs> Tough escape! Really? Come on! Damn! Okay, there we go! <laughs> She's got a different deck this time! She, her deck um, is basically based around the rule that she uses. So, like, the black hole rule here is very energy removal centric. So this will be a good one here! All cards plays into the discard pile are removed from play. Six prize cards will be used. Let's have a fun card battle! Ultra removal deck! And this may very well be... The best deck of any character in the game. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe not. Imakuni has the best deck. <laughs> Alright, so I got my middle deck selected here, mainly because it's got uh, cheap energy costs for things, just in case she uses. Yeah. <laughs> the other one was mainly because I, uh, I wanted to show off the new Snoop Dogg deck, so I was like, eh, okay. So <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll use that first and hope she doesn't. Have the black hole in effect, and she didn't! We're good. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what she gets. And since she put out a squirtle there, that could be uh, game over pretty quickly. I mean, unless she gets paralysis out of this. She did not, so that will be a KO with one lightning energy. Unfortunately for her, so. 
and definitely gotta focus on the other critters that I have off on the side there, so gonna try and go for that Machoke. Possibly, maybe. Here comes the energy removal, here it comes. Oh. <laughs> As they here comes the energy. <laughs> now she's probably saving that for uh, any sort of Machop in the future. But yeah, um, while well, you could duel Villasini right away, I, I figured I would go after her three decks uh, before I go over to the big man himself. Just because it just seems like the more natural progression of 100%ing, you know? <laughs> So they're gonna go try and defeat all of Allison's decks, assuming she'll give me the right next deck! <laughs> yeah, she's got three decks. I do believe to match those three rules, so... Just gotta hope that my saving between uh, attempts will actually work out. Hopefully. Hopefully. And the Furious Wipes does 10... It's around what you'd expect, 10 or 20. Uh, we're gonna keep going for that macho. So we're gonna plop that on there and speedball. Where's our energy removal anyway? <laughs> it seems like she's kind of, kind of lacking her signature card, you know? <laughs> oh, there it is! <laughs> that must have been what she had. She was preparing to wipe out two energy cards at once, and my macho is the unfortunate victim. Yeah, so she, she plays it pretty well too. <laughs> You need it. You can have a good deck, but if you don't play it well, it's like giving the world's greatest instrument to a terrible player. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, let's go ahead and speedball that Psyduck, and hopefully my Voltorb will survive another turn. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It all depends on the coin flips. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh oh oh. Oh. It does. Wow. <laughs> Maybe she's just having bad luck in general herself? I don't know. Uh, what I do know, though, is I'm definitely going to go for powering up the Machoke again in hopes that <laughs> I'll be able to attack with it after she inevitably knocks out my Voltorb. I expect energy removal to attack. Oh, jeez. I was going to say attack my Machoke. Now she's definitely going to get one of them. <laughs> Uh, oh, the bill definitely is going to help even more. So, super energy removal, right? Now, oh, Bill's double quarter. And wow! She's just drawing cards all over the place. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there's the super. And that takes care of the Machokes. She's not going to use it on Voltover, of course, just as I wouldn't either. Because of the uh, uh, basically discard effects of the KO. And yeah, with the black hole. Nothing's coming back to our hands, by the way, if you didn't realize that, so... If you take a look at the... Whoops, if you take a look at the field... Yeah, the discard pile has no cards! Even though there's six in there, because of the black hole rule. So, yeah, it's quite literally removed from play completely. Uh... I wonder if I should... Just focus on the Spearow for now. Because I want a Pokémon Trader into something more... Awesome, and I don't want to discard that, you know? Uh, that didn't work out this time. Energy removal, of course. That's the signature move! <laughs> and I bet, I bet, she's got a lot of them in her hand right now. <laughs> because, yeah, the whole... Uh, ooh, that's actually... I want to plop that in play, just in general, because even if I can't attack because of energy removal, I still have the, uh ability to do damage. Anyway, let's just see if she can keep bubbling me into oblivion. She might be able to. Mm, maybe. <laughs> and... That's okay. <laughs> and... And... I guess. Uh, I guess it, well... Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I got an idea. I'm gonna go get a Hitmonchan. Because it requires only one energy card. And there we go. So, then I'll be able to finish off the Squirtle, assuming... Whoa! No. <laughs> uh, so I was she wouldn't play that, but now she can dump out her hand of all energy cards. So yeah, that's why I said her deck 
This one right here could very well be the most powerful deck out of all the opponents in the game. We could build a, a better one, probably, but, uh, well, well, we don't really have the cards for it right now, so I'm going to trade that back in the deck. We're going to go for Electabuzz this time. I give a little extra versatility, and unfortunately it's <laughs> paral it cost paralysis again, so no attacking with Spiro here, and ooh, that's going to be able to bite now. It's a uh, spicy little meatball you got there. <laughs> Um, I think I'll do Machamp, because it's going to be difficult to power up in general, so we're going to try and get things set up on the sidelines here. Uh, I don't think I should gust the wind or switch or anything, so I'll just go Professor Oak and just see what I can get out of that. Hey, Bill. <laughs> sure. I wonder if I could just run her out of cards with the amount that she draws for her energy removal cards. That would be a alternative strategy, I suppose. I don't think it's going to come to that based on how little prize cards we have left, so... Uh, yeah, I'll call it a turn here, because I don't know if I want to do anything else with that. And bite! So Strikes Back is going to come into play here, so it's going to cause 10 there. And what I'm going to do is continue... Well, actually, you know what? I was going to say, continue powering up Hitmonchan, but I maybe I should go for the Electabuzz instead. Because of the uh, double damage Thunder Punch. And, oh man. <laughs> yeah, Electabuzz is probably the better choice of that. Oh man, here we go. Here comes Hydro Pump. Wait, what? You're not evolving War Turtle? Why? I thought would have given you more HP, or are you trying to do something else with that Blastoise? Hmm. Interesting. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're saving it? Hmm. I'm trying to predict the unpredictable. I'm gonna end my turn. <laughs> I'll save the energy card in case of energy removal surprises and let her finish off the Machamp. And I'll just go over to the Electabuzz and finish her off. Voltorb. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got an. Oh, oh, oh! Um. I could save that energy and just plus power, because I don't know what she's going to do, because I got Thundershock for 20 plus the 10 for the plus power, so that'll finish off the War Turtle as is, and I can grab a prize card, see what else I get, Blastoise, um, here comes the Rain Dance probably, uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, I, I, I know this, wait, what, what, that doesn't, uh, you can't add more 20 damage to that way. Why would you attach 6 to Blastoise? That wouldn't have done se Yeah, what? that wouldn't have done 70. Why would you... <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for that. And I'm... Well... Should I try to bring it... No, wait, wait. Yeah, I should probably get it into range of other Pokémon here. So I should do plus power. And then attack with Thunder Punch. Yes! 90 damage! So that means anything can knock out that Blastoise now. But... Oh, I thought she was gonna switch. I thought she... Like, is that... Rain Dance is a really useful ability. Alright, Hitmonchan! You're up! I should probably plop another one on there. And Voltorb. And Jab. Alright, down to... The nitty gritty of the game here. Got even a uh, lightning energy to finish things off, potentially, uh, with the Voltorb. We'll see how things go, though. Ten again. <laughs> Just not getting the Furious Swipe flip, sorry, yeah. Uh, gust of... Gust of Wind. That could be useful for something. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna do that just to kind of get stuff set up, because if I can switch with the Hitmonchan on the next turn, that will be game over. Oh! Oh! On Hitmonchan, that, I was, I was going to say, if she took it off of Voltorb, uh, I'm kind of lacking in the uh, lightning energy, but I can I can kind of deal with that. Because, yeah, I just need to do a little bit of little bit of zappy zappies to the one of the side docks, and we're good. Bill? Let's see here. Lightning Bill. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're kind of getting low on cards here. And jab. Yeah, now now she's just gonna switch. 
kind of she kind of has to. But yeah, if what, regardless of if she knocks out Hitmonchan or not somehow, it will be uh, game over. Oh, she's out of energy. Oh, scoop up! Yes, I'm gonna scoop up Hitmonchan. Plays Voltorb and Gust of Wind into Psyduck. Game over. Black hole rule. <laughs> So beating that deck, is it like all downhill from here? Eh, I guess. <laughs> You're indeed strong. I enjoyed our card battle. Ambition, let's see what we get. Um, Flight boost attack. Yeah, it was pretty much duplicates. Actually, I think it was all duplicates. Uh, yeah, same. Oh, 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 feels great to have such thrilling card battles. Take it easy, friend. Alright, so now for the last one, we're gonna select that one. And of course, save beforehand. Because we might not get the right one here. I understand that one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll use the lowers. There we go! Okay, so she's using. <laughs> she's using things properly here. I mean, doing the decks in order properly here. So low resistance, all resistance, resistance reductions are 10 instead of 30. Six prize cards will be used. Let's have a fun card battle. The Psychic Might deck is a go-go. There's your rule. And this is her last deck. Let's make it a good one. And we can beat Villasini in the next part, hopefully. <laughs> uh, ooh. I don't have much of a choice here, but I do have a lot of bills, so... Will not complain about that. Okay. Energy removal, yeah! <laughs> you see her her power of energy removal versus mine. So now you see like even if it like even it, it putting me in a difficult spot. And my decks are generally better than everyone else's in the game because <laughs> it's just the understanding and you know better AI than the AI in the game. I shouldn't say I have AI, I'm not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I just wanna do a little bit of a little bit of damage there to hit Monchan right away. Because we're gonna be focusing on uh, the wiggly tough on the side here. So you do not absolutely do not want that hit Monchan to be special punching into oblivion and oh yeah that's right there. Okay. So I guess yeah that double double damage with that on the wiggly not so good. So you can go ahead and uh, jab my Dratini, I suppose. And then next turn will begin. I guess I'll go with the seal. Got more HP, same amount of damage. I can still set up stuff in the meantime on the side then, so there we go. I didn't, as you see, the Wigglytuff is still not, qu ooh, not quite ready. Dratini? Oh, I was actually not expecting I was not expecting that, because yeah, that might as that's probably the better better move. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. So I guess I'll be lullabying and then going for something else, because I think she's gonna be able to knock out the uh, wiggly tough here. Chances are. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there it is. So yeah, Lapras is gonna have to be the goat of this game. Alas, this Wiggly is a goner. Like I said, the Wiggly is is powerful, but it's it's not unbeatable. So yeah, you always, always gotta think of the backups for the future, you know? Um, I'll go Water Gun. Because I can guarantee to knock out Hitmonchan in two attacks then. Other than, I mean, if I use Confuse Ray, it would still take two attacks. So what you might end up doing now is switching, or not, <laughs> potion. Alright, and the Jabby Jabby, and she might actually get the special punch off as well, so that's something to consider, so again, set up stuff on the side, water gun, let's go, yeah, it's like, we got a bunch of aces out on the field here, so it can be, oh man, <laughs> they're gonna be pretty back and forth, and yeah, that's, the potions are actually offsetting the ability to knock out things as quickly as I would prefer, so... Yeah! What I got! <laughs> and... It's gonna have to be a Staryu knockout then. Yep, jab. <laughs> Alright, 
That's fine by me, I suppose. Um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pokemon Trader. Not nothing to trade with, but I will finish off the Hitmonchan. And hopefully we'll be able to get something out of the prize... YES! <laughs> out of the prize cards. Uh, I shall probably get that Hitmonchan going by the... Well, I was gonna say with the special punch by the time I get something else, but... Ooh, Pokemon Trader, that's actually pretty nice. We're gonna go Seal into... Uh... Dragonair. I'm gonna use a Dragonair on a Dratini. Professor Oak, so we can get that bad boy powered up, and hopefully <laughs> get double colorless. Nope. Um. All right, so we're gonna go. Definitely slow down something on her side. <laughs> Probably this Hitmonchan, and then we're gonna go for the Dragon Air attacks. Hopefully, we'll make it. <laughs> And we should be fine, it's still early in the game. A jab! It contacts! And KOs! So, should I... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Seal instead and switch over to the Dragonair. So, let's headbutt, get it within Dragonair range. Well, two Hyper Beam ranges, I should say. And, oh wait, she's attaching... Really? Interesting. I was- I would have swore she would have... Ooh, um... Oh, wait, wait, did I just... Oh, shoot, I, I attached it to the seal! Uh, well, I'll do that then, anyway. But yeah, my idea was to power up Dragonair. Uh, man, I hope I didn't mess myself up with that. Because the turn count is kinda... Kinda getting a little tight here. Uh, nothing, okay. So yeah, it should sound like that. Oh, 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 uh, ooh! You might be in better shape than I thought. Yeah, um... I'm kind of sucking out those energies, so I'm going to try for the slam. i got to put the pressure on her now. There we go. So yeah, I think that was the better idea of the two, even though Hyper Beam's guaranteed 20. Because, yeah, chances are... Uh, I, I'd be better off trying to go for one knockout rather than... Ooh rather than waiting two turns, and slash for 20, and since she's low on energy, guess who's gonna be hyper-beaming? <laughs> uh, I should also go for the dugong, probably. So hyper-beam, I'm gonna take away the fighting energy, and hopefully that will prevent Dragonair from taking much more damage. She could probably get more, yeah, I was gonna say she could probably get more energy for the sand slash, but chances are her she's not going to be able to draw into them all the time, so let's just get another ace going here. And a Hyper Beam. Keep that going, and maybe I'll go for the Slam on the next turn, if she doesn't have an energy attached to Sand Slash or something like that. Uh, oh, actually, no, 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 I should. I should Hyper Beam. Because then she can't attack with Sand Slash at all. Uh, like, yeah, then I'll... Dra Pfft, Dragon Arrow will have 40 HP remaining. Uh, Hitmonchan's getting a little bit of a power-up, but that's... I, I think I'm in too good of a position now with the, our Dugong friend here. Well, not that, not that specific Dugong, but you know what I mean. Um... I guess I'll think of the Starmie and guarantee the knockout with Hyper Beam. Alright, so she can't attack with Hitmonchan anyway, so that might... Mm. Do Sanshu. I was gonna say she might just put out the Hitmon Chan for the sake of stalling. That we'll see how things turn out here. Oh, Pokemon Trader. I should do. We're gonna go Dragonair into Jigglypuff because I got double colorless energy. Uh huh. And I don't know if I want to attach that to anything right now. I'm just gonna go for the Hyper Beam. I kind of don't want to want her to know what I'm going for. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she did recognize the hit, uh, the Wigglytuff was a threat, but that was a thing. All right, so we're gonna do that and finish it off, and then we'll be able to do the wave like no one's ever, <laughs> no one's done the wave before. 
Well, assuming that she is able to knock out my Dragonair, which she might. She just needs another fighting energy. Um, you two. Best of win. Ooh! Jigglypuff. Yep. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. So she's going for the Wiggly ahead of time again. Okay. So, that, now I can't Wiggly. <laughs> We're gonna go... Probably should do... No, Dragonair. Because I can Hyper Beam that energy away. Uh, but she might actually have me in a pretty pretty tough spot here, because if she gusts the winds into my Wiggly, despite that evolution, she can knock it out. Uh, assuming she also got a fighting energy with that, so... Yeah! <laughs> I mean, sure, we both have two prize cards, but my Dragonair is in a kind of tricky spot in general, so yeah, she's got that... got that covered with the energy search. So there's that for the Dragonair. Bill? Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, water... Oh, should I switch to Dugong? And just finish... I think I should. I think I should switch to Dugong, because it's got more HP. Because we're getting in the nitty-gritty of, uh, prize cards here, so we gotta be a little bit more... conservative. Um... I don't know if I should Professor Oak. I think I should just go for another Dugong on the side, and Aurora Beam the Hitmonchan out. Yeah, she's playing pretty well here. <laughs> uh, Mewtwo? That could do a decent amount of damage with the Psychic. And it doesn't. It doesn't have the energy to do so. So we're gonna go Seal. Dugong. There we go. Aurora Beam. Come on, baby. Let's win this game. Come on, let's win this game. <laughs> she's, she's gonna have to switch. Oh, she can't switch. So that means I win! All three of our decks beaten in a single part without any losses. Yeah! <laughs> that was pretty long, though, but that was pretty fun. You're indeed strong. I enjoyed our card battle. Ambition booster back. Let's go. Dark Dragon Eyes, the rare. Hmm. Nothing else that's new. Well, actually, the Dragon Knight wasn't new. Um. Alright. <laughs> oh, oh, feels great the same dialogue. Alright. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy <laughs> hiccup, excuse me. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I take on Villasini and hopefully win.